U.S. experts appear to be rattled with China's hypersonic missile weapon test. According to American news sources, a hypersonic gliding missile unit tested by China has an intercontinental range at a speed that none of the missiles in the United States has yet. The American press notes that in the middle stage of the flight, the Chinese hypersonic missile is capable of being over the South Pole, bypassing the American missile defense. At high speed, it can glide to the target from almost any direction, which makes it very difficult to detect and destroy using existing weapons. At present, the U.S. missile defense system is certainly not capable of defeating the hypersonic weapons of Russia and China. The U.S. missile defense system is incapable of stopping a decisive nuclear strike on its territory by these adversaries. U.S. lacks defense against hypersonic weapons? A 2018 report by the U.S. Government Accountability Office stated that China and Russia are focused on developing hypersonic weapons because of their speed, altitude, and maneuverability which can defeat most missile defense systems. There are no countermeasures, stated the report. In March 2018, the head of the Strategic Command of the U.S. Armed Forces, before which he had commanded Air Force Space Command, General John E. Hyten said the United States had no defense against Russian and Chinese hypersonic weapons. To counter it, the United States has decided to urgently intensify work on sensitive sensors in low orbits capable of tracking the launch of hypersonic missiles and the flight paths of their gliding blocks. General John E. Hyten proposed directing efforts to create anti-missile systems placed in orbit of our planet. According to Hyten's plan, sensors deployed on satellites could track the launch of missiles and quickly transmit this information to land and sea complexes. The U.S. Missile Defense Agency, MDA, Director, Lt. Gen. Sam Greaves, speaking at the Washington Center for Strategic and International Studies, talked about developing a hypersonic interceptor. The Pentagon is completing a study of options for solving this problem, the department is evaluating the technologies that exist today for their use to intercept hypersonic missiles and proposals from designers and defense companies. As per Greaves, the ABM agency has completed an analysis of possible measures to ensure protection against hypersonic weapons. High-speed interceptors and directed energy weapons can help solve the problem, but other options exist. The task is to find out whether the existing interceptors can take on a hypersonic missile. The analysis of possible options is in the final stages of consideration by the Department of Defense and should be published shortly. As per the general, directed energy systems like laser and microwave weapons are explored, among other options.